Hey, in this video, I will show you how to pop up some text like one and only Mr. Beast in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. First, we need a audio file so we can synchronize it with the text to create this text effect. Then the next thing I'll do is to hit T and create text onto the program monitor. Next, I'll go to the Essential Graphics panel and stylize my text. And by the way, if you don't see it on your workspace, you can go up to Window and choose Essential Graphics. Going to the Align and Transform option, you can automatically center the text by clicking those horizontal and vertical icons. Plus, you can scale it up or scale it down the text from over here as well. Then you can make all letters capital. And from appearance, you can unleash your creativity and do whatever you like with your text. You can change the field color, you can add some stroke, some background or even shadow. Once you've done stylizing your text, go back to the timeline and move the cursor at the end of your first word. Then grab the text layer and shorten it to exact that point. Then hold ALT or COMMAND and duplicate that same layer and place it over the next word. Repeat the same process until you have covered every word in your sentence. And by the way, my name is Pizza Lakov and if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss more tutorials like this one. After that, move your playhead onto the new text layer and by clicking twice on it, make sure that you're gonna change the words inside it so it can match the words in your audio track. Repeat the same step until we have created all the text layers for your first sentence. And now we have to listen to our audio and create a marker every time a new word starts. And to do this in Premiere Pro, you have to press M to create a marker. Doing this will be easier to sync up the words with the audio and because of these markers, it will be easier to align the cuts with the markers we have just created. And the easiest way to do this is by using the rolling edit tool. You can find it by going to the toolbar and hold on to this icon. Then grab the first cut and drag it all the way to the left until you match it up with the first marker. Essentially, this will change the end position of the first text layer and the start position of the second text layer. And that's how you can create this super cool and at the same time, super easy pop-up effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, when you know how to do it, you might want to know how to create lower thirds like the big YouTubers as well. So make sure to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.